on in here fast. Come here. Come here. There we go. There we go. Nice chunky pound and a half or so. Nice little Z-Man 4-inch TRD here. And boy, when he took it, he took it good. That's what I'm looking for. little pieces of cover and just throwing this in there and boy is it getting them tell you what I've even these smaller ones out here the quality of them they're so healthy um, I must love seeing that come on out of there there you go. I mean, he's only about a pound, pound and a quarter, but look how healthy they are. I don't know what that is. Must have gotten a fight or something. But I'm just uh, coming along, just picking apart some of this cover, looking for shade. I got some reeds over here. I got some wood over here. I got some rock over there. It's kind of a little cut. And I'm just thoroughly covering it with this worm working along real slow and tell you what they're just tearing it up fat one here and this nice bass right here Come here oh yeah oh yeah Woo! okay that's a nice fat one right there I gotta weigh this one saw him there's a stick up over there and I threw that through that worm over there and got a nice three something here big old belly this this dude is really really healthy gosh what a beautiful largemouth bass they're so pretty out at this lake I let them go there you go buddy that was nice light line he's pulling me like crazy I love it Hey everybody, it's Dalton. I'm going to go over this little 4-inch worm. It's a Z-Man. It's a 4-inch TRD, and the color of this is Drew's Craw. Uh, the reason I like it is it has a, kind of a watermelon red flake on one side and sort of a shag color on the other. And the thing that I like to throw this on is a little owner, little finesse football head jig. That's all that is, is a little football head jig with an extra wide gap hook on it. And what I do is I just, uh, a lot of times, I'll go through the tail end. Uh, by going through the tail of a stick bait, because the weight, the head, the head is heavier than the tail, you can cast it farther because the weight's on the end. And then I just go ahead and Texas rig this thing. And the only thing I do with it, and it's pretty simple, you work it a lot like a Ned rig, is I'll just kind of uh, 
toss this thing out, maybe up against the bank line or around some grass or something like that. Let it hit the bottom and then I just start slowly dragging it and kind of twitching it, maybe like a shaky head. When I'm working a worm, I always keep my rod tip high. If you keep your rod tip high, it's more sensitive. You're going to feel that bite a whole lot better. It could be a pressure bite where the bass is just hanging on to it and it has that funny spongy feel and then you can reel down and set the hook. So this is how I, I work this thing. It's a real easy thing, but the thing I like about that little owner football head is that when I work it around small rocks, it just kind of pops over the top. It's very weedless and it just gives it a little bit of a erratic movement when it hits a rock. And that's why I like the little football head jig. But these are also, these jigs you can use for regular Ned rigs as well. But this is a great technique, throwing it on a medium action spinning rod, 10 pound test fluorocarbon line, a real finesse technique, just moving it slow. And if you get it around a bass, he's gonna bite it. Well, thanks for tuning in everybody. I'll talk to you next time.